the Liberal government has inked a deal to buy 88 F-35 fighter jets. That's a U-turn seven years in the making. The new Liberal government won't buy the overpriced F-35 stealth fighter jet. A stealth fighter that can't defend our Arctic. A stealth fighter that's not actually stealth. The F-35 is a modern, reliable, and agile fighter aircraft used by our closest allies in missions across the globe. It is the most advanced fighter on the market, and it is the right aircraft for our country. The estimated $19 billion deal will see the first four jets delivered in 2026, the next six in 2027, and six more in 2028. The full fleet of 88 jets is scheduled to be in Canada by the end of 2032. Brian May is Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of National Defence. He is in Cambridge, Ontario. Thank you for making time for our program today, Mr. May. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on today. Now listen, you know I want to talk about those two clips we just played. Seven years ago, the F-35, the Prime Minister, the man who would go on to be Prime Minister, uh, said it's the wrong jet for Canada. Today it's the right one. What happened? Well, first of all, uh, I want to just explain as our, our world grows more complex, it's, it's critical that our aviators have the most modern uh, technologically advanced equipment available uh, so that they can protect Canadians. And and what, what's changed, to, to address your actual question, when we were elected, uh, we had not seen a, a robust process, uh, a procurement process engaged uh, in the F-35. That's what we did. We we stepped up and we said, okay, we're gonna we're gonna open up this process. Uh, it was a seven step process. Uh, it was open to to all bidders. wasn't a single source uh, a process like the previous government had attempted. Uh, and 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 we we went through the the rigorous uh, rigorous process to get to where we are today. And I think it's important to recognize uh, the hundreds of men and women at, at both DND and CAF, as well as procurement, as well as I said, that have helped us get us here today. Uh, this is a, a much more uh, mature aircraft than it than it was previously. Uh, a lot of the issues. Can I ask uh, you what that, what does that, that mean? Uh, like, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I think people want to understand. No, that's okay. It's it's yeah. been it's been years. I mean, really decades if you start looking back uh, over this conversation mm -hmm. about F-35s. In the meantime, we currently uh, have members of the military flying uh, jets that we bought from Australia that date back to the 1980s. Yep. So can you help us explain from your perspective why we're, what we're getting now this more the, mature, the term that the defense minister and yourself use? What, what's the benefit? What's the upside to Canada? Well, the benefit is is simple. We just if you do go back uh, to the very beginning of this process, Canada was one of the signatories, uh, a, a memorandum of understanding to 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 develop this this aircraft. So we have been at the table from from the beginning, and, and Canadians have benefited from that from an economic perspective as well. Um, so. But we have to recognize that that the the aircraft that that we were discussing has changed. It has evolved. It has been improved at every single step, uh, and and we are confident that the the aircraft that we will be receiving uh, in what's called the 18th uh, 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 version of this, if you will, uh, will will deal with the issues that we had previously. So, Mr. May, I appreciate your attention to the process. I think everybody in Canada would be unanimous, right? You want to get this decision right, but I want to understand: is it the position? of the Liberal government that we really should not have bought the jets until now. We had to wait until this most mature version because, you know, the, the world dynamic has changed. Surely it would be nice to have some yeah. more up-to-date jets at this moment to help us in that situation. And I appreciate that. I really do. And I and I think it but it is critically important that we focus on uh, that process. And and it was a, a, an intense process to go through uh, for procurement for I said for DND and CAF um, to get to where we are. And I think it's important to recognize uh, that work that was done. We we are responsible for the public purse. This is the largest single uh, investment uh, in the Canadian Air Force in over 30 years. And we need to make sure we got this right. 
and I think we have we've got the 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 best possible aircraft for our our aviators at the best possible price, and that's that's important for your listeners and your viewers to to recognize because we are, we will receive this at the same price as even our colleagues in the United States. I'd love to ask you actually about the price um, because mm. I think it's something I'll be frank. I'm still scratching my head a little bit about the government says the deal is worth 19 billion. That was the same that's cost right. forecast a year ago. Anybody who's I appreciate the fighter jets are not lettuce and butter, <laughs> but anybody who's gone to the grocery store knows that inflation is nailing all sectors of the economy. How is it that we are paying the same amount that we were going to a year ago? The, the, the analysis I've seen has suggested that the price ought to have gone up in that time. It's even more complex than that, to be honest. This is not just for the fighter jets. And it's important to understand that that 19 billion also includes all the infrastructure that we need to build. We have, uh, uh, the, it includes a, a 20 different maintenance bays at both uh, um, uh, Bagotville and uh, Cold Lake. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's significant investments in infrastructure training, uh, not just for our, our aviators uh, to be able to fly these new jets, but also to maintain them. So the technicians that are required, all of that is incorporated in that $19, $19 billion. So why hasn't the price gone up in a year? I, I, to be honest, uh, that's a, it's a great question, um, but I, I am confident in, in the, the work that's been done. Uh, this is, this is, uh, uh, we're looking at estimates right now of approximately $85 million per fighter, uh, per fighter. People are doing the quick math on that and seeing that it doesn't quite add up. You have to incorporate all of those other costs and, as well. And we should say uh, to Canadians that in fact, the, the estimates I've seen over the, the lifespan of the planes, we're talking about $70 billion. So it's, it's quite a big number. That's Right. I just want to go back um, to, I guess, the question that some of your critics, uh, and I'm being very specific when I say critics, I think of what the Conservatives uh, are pointing mm -hmm. out today. All the time that this took, they point to the fact that, for instance, next year Canada is not slated to help um, in the air policing over Romania, something we've been doing for years and years because we say we're trying to ramp up uh, the state of our CF-18s through this sort of yep. interim period. This question about all the time it is going to take to actually get these planes operational and the position it's left Canada in in the interim. How do you, uh, I guess, how do you respond to that criticism by the Conservatives in particular? Well, look, if we had gone through this robust process when, when we should have, um, then, 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 yes, maybe Which we, would be, we when? Uh, would be, well, look, when, when we uh, were first talking about this in 2010, uh, in the Harper government, uh, they single sourced this, but then they didn't sign a contract. And that's, that's an interesting question. That's not the conservatives don't want to answer. Right. But and we, sir, we sir, know I, I do that have there to were... ask, I apologize for interrupting you, but it has taken no. your government since 2015 to do this. And you're going to point right. back to the conservatives and say they should have moved faster. We did not have a robust process like we like we initiated in 2017. That had not happened before, and I will rec You have to also recognize that that we do have a upgrade process right now for the CF uh, CF 18 Hornets um, that will get us to where we need to be in 2032 and 2034 when we will decommission those those F 18s. And okay. and look, I I I recognize uh, you know we 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 don't necessarily want to look back, uh, and I agree with you on that let's let's continue to look forward but we we have a system in place right now to to upgrade those those uh, f-18s so that we do have that operational capability uh as we transition to the f-35s uh okay. and, and as i stated earlier why that's going to take time okay well uh, many a calendar to mark all the way from 2026 to 2032 we appreciate you taking the time to give us your perspective on all of this thank you very much brian may parliamentary My secretary pleasure. thank you so much to the minister of national defense